Philadelphia Catholic Boys League Championship is in overtime, and Archbishop Ryan is down by two. They're looking for this kid. His name is Ryan, goes to Archbishop Ryan. He's the three-point shooter they want with the ball. He's got the ball, can't find a shot, dishes it out. They're going to work it around. They're going to go in and then kick it back to him for the three with 10 seconds left. Gives his team the lead. Oh, my goodness. The kid's going to be the hero. Ryan from Archbishop Ryan, but... Cape Goss puts it in and gives Roman Catholic the victory in overtime. He's the hero. Feel good story. Cape Goss. I actually like all the shots right after this in the family section, friends, relatives, whoever they are, his supporters, the ones he leans on, dapping them up. That's something you might have missed that you never planned on watching. This is everything you missed that you never planned on watching. It's brought to you by DraftKings. Bop, 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 bop. Brazil and Italy are tied up at one goal apiece in the FIFA Beach Soccer World Cup. And then Brazil's number nine, Rodrigo, is going to get the ball and just show everyone what he's all about. Chest. Bicycle kick, goal, Brazil gets the lead. The crowd, they got balloons. They're loving it. Look at this replay. Ah, boom. That's the video game goal. Chest up to himself. The keeper runs out to make the save. The coach is like, oh, my goodness, my gracious. He grabs some sand, and then he's going to sprinkle sand down his own shirt. Seems crazy uncomfortable to me. Just sand on the sweaty skin. There's a lot more game to play, but he loves it, and he loves all of you. Later on, Brazil's up 3-2. to two. Italy trying to tie it. The Italian keeper dribbles it a little bit, passes it to his teammate. Teammate says, now nah, I'll give it back to you. Misses the keeper, hits a weird lump of sand, and just bounces in. In the Brazil coach, he's all about it. You know, praying to the Lord, thank you for their misfortune. They're giving hugs on the sideline like they did something. They didn't do nothing. It just hit a weird piece of sand, and it was an own goal. And the keeper's like, what the heck's this about? I didn't want that. Just hits that, and instead of rolling, and he could have got there if it rolled, it bounces straight up. Goes in, and now Brazil's feeling really good, and they're just getting dancy on everyone's ass. I mean... Keeper just kneeing it to himself. Another chest pass, knee, bicycle kick from deep to score another goal. That's a good-looking dude, huh? It's kind of like a classically handsome dude, I think, if you ask anyone around. Nice teeth, good skin, nice bicycle kick skills. Look at this. He went chest, knee, and then kabam. <laughs> That's beautiful. The other one, the keeper ran out. Italy's upset. They're upset. Now it's 5-3, to three and Rodrigo wants the hat trick, so he just gets past the defender and kicks it in. And there you go. That's what he's talking about. Hat trick, Brazil, they win. Sad times for Italy. Is that the backup keeper commiserating with the keeper? Because they both have gloves on. That's nice. That's nice. Nice to see. No one wants to be alone in that moment. Or you do. Or you, you like really do. Have you ever seen a hit by pitch turned into a home run? No. The answer is no. Well, here you go. This is what it looks like. Off the leg and gone with a gentle, gentle hit by Colin Stone from McFlurry Power. Look at that. Warehouse games where weird stuff happens. It hits him in the leg. And then it actually rolls up his body. It might clip his arm again, and you can see his eyes dart up. And he's not looking at the ball, and he's like, where is it? Oh, it's right there. Let me just tap it. Bam. And those things fly. You don't need to hit them that far. Home run turns to the crowd and uh, mm, does that count? It was cool though, right? Yeah. Everyone a little confused. His teammate celebrating with the kids in the crowd. Jack Doyle on the We Got Ice team. He's celebrating. He says, I think that should count. He's all excited about it. He's actually going to throw his hat in celebration. And then Colin Stone has to just get his hat and throw it back. The announcers, they wanted it to count. Whoa! That was amazing. Does that count? Holy Vladimir Guerrero. Does that count? That is incredible. He can count that, surely. Go check out Blitzball Battle 4 on our Warehouse Games channel for a ton of weird shit like that. And also check out DraftKings Casino because they're sponsoring the show today. America's number one ranked online casino. We've partnered with them and all new customers who sign up using promo code TYM. If you know what it stands for, leave it in the comments and make a minimum $5 deposit, we'll get a deposit match up to $100 in casino credit. So thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring the show and letting us do what we're doing here. And thank you to you guys, and let's keep it going.
We had another incredible rally in the Pro Volleyball Federation, Fury versus Supernovas, and right away, we need a big running diving save, and then the Lumbera's got to just heave it up and over, gets it over, okay? Fury's got it, and they go teardrop, saved, sets up the spike, blocked, stays on the net for a little bit, drops, number two just heaves it up, says, okay, let's reset, and then they're going to spike it down. That's saved, nice and easy and calm. Teardrop over, dug out, popped up, over. Okay, we're still going. Another big spike off the fingers, up. Another big spike, crazy dig there. Good extension on the straight leg, just lent forward and off the hands, down. Supernovas win the rally, but they lost the match. Fury has won three in a row. They're in second place. Omaha Supernovas in first place. Pro Volleyball Federation drawing big crowds, having fun. You guys missed that. Now, this last one is an awesome one. We've got professional bowler Kyle Troop, who, if you don't know what he looks like yet, it's Jackie Moon meets Bob Ross. It's bowling. He's reading a book on the sideline. He's almost to the end of the book, so I understand it. He's hooked. It's Mind Gym, the book. So he's just getting his head right while bowling in the championship match. There he is. Looking great. This is the Just Bear PBA Indiana Classic championship round and there he is just looking phenomenal his mind he just exercised it by reading throws a strike another one uh no this is the replay and it's just a nice ball celebrates a little bit goes back to his seat right back into his book look at the beard on the guy behind him just something of note it should be looked at right back to his book the guy he's playing against ej tackett bookless not reading open frame for him can't close it out, can't pick up the spare, needs to go to Barnes & Noble and pick up Mind Gym. It's clearly working. Just not paying attention to a thing. Just reading a book in the middle of the match. I mean, man, Moxon tried to do this in Varsity Blues and Kilmer ate his ass up. Maybe it's good. So here we go, tack it. Ah, oh, in the 10th frame, can't close it out. He needs eight pins to win. Does he get it? Does he get it? Yes, easily. Super excited. Ah! I mean, you don't imagine that dude having that much. He's just so much chill. And then his fiance gives him the glasses for winning, a kiss. Everything's right in the world. I mean, let's all go read that book. You know, have some fun. Look at that guy. What a look. <sighs> How long does that take to grow out? And is it always there? Or is it just like, I think like if it's just tournament, look, that's awesome. Losing to a guy who's reading a book, not even watching you bowl. That's mind games. That's mind games. That was everything you missed that you never planned on watching. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. And if you want to vote for fan of the week, you can do so now. Who you got? This one, this one, that one, that one, this one, this one, or just me. You can just vote. I, I choose the host. Thanks guys. See ya.